Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video from work. Okay, let's get started because it's Friday and I really want to go home. The day is not dragging, but it can speed up a little bit. Deborah J is first and says, Baroness, what if Sam doesn't take the news of Dante's past well and he moves out with his son and Drew moves right in with Sam and his daughter? Dante takes his father's place because he won't be a cop anymore. You know, that's a good theory, Deborah J. Y'all put it in the comments because we never talk about um, Dante being taken over the business. It's quite possible. Um, and I did the Sam and Dante video. So, yeah, they're not going to stay together. His past is going to come to light and she's going to have trouble. She's It's going to be like, am I going to be able to deal with this or not? Also, on Dante's end, he's going to feel like can he trust her with what's going on with the case because um, Alexis running an invader and everything. But put it in the comments, you guys. What do you think? Do you think it's a possibility that Dante could lead a police force and take over the business? We only talk about Spencer and Dex taking Sonny's place. Dante is certainly a possibility. Daisy Flower 40 says Trina and Joss will be fine. I hope so. I, I don't want them to not be friends anymore, but I do believe Trina will be a little bit upset and disappointed that Joss didn't confide in her about the Dex Cameron thing. She didn't even tell her best friend that she got attacked. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Trina's, they'll be fine, but Trina's going to feel a little bit of disappointment. Risky says, I think that things will pick up with Anna and Valentine because they're part of the takedown Victor team. And I was wondering what Felicia has up her sleeve because when they were talking about capitalizing on Victor's guilt, Felicia said... She had a lot of ideas. FYI, I like the team, Felicia, Anna, and Laura, and Valentine, Mac, and Robert. They seem to work well together. Yeah, that was a fun little team they put together. Um, this off topic, but for some reason, it kind of made me think, what do y'all think about Ava and Valentine? What kind of couple do you think they would make? Put that in the comments. That would be interesting. Um, but because Anna and Valentine, they're boring. The only other person that I would want to see Valentine with is Nina. Uh, Yeah, they did make a good team. And it is time for them to wrap up this takedown. Now, I'm ready for them to come on, show us what you got. Let's get rid of Victor. Let's do this. Because we got to move on to this wedding with the Ashfords and everything. Deborah J is putting up praying hands for you, Casey. And Deborah says, it's Drew's facial features plus that hairline. Sam, get ready because Lulu will come back and he will go back to Lulu. Drew will be with Sam because there is a spark. Well, we'll see when they get together. But I do believe Drew and Sam will probably end up back together. Lulu will wake up like you said, Deborah. But the question is when? Because he's going to propose to Sam while they're over there in London. Watch. Risky says not everybody hates Nina. Felicia pretty much told Nina that she strikes her as a kick, but no nonsense type of woman and that she could see a little bit of herself in Nina. Felicia also told Nina that she loves Maxie, um, loved Nathan, and Nathan loved Nina. So that made them family. Yeah, that's true. It's... <sighs> Yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to say I see Nina, Felicia, and Nina's, you know, any comparison in them two at all. But that was sweet of Felicia to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Hey, Medora. Medora says Christina and Molly are Sam and Sam. Thank oh, my God. I feel so stupid, y'all, because in the last video, I was like, they don't got a lot of Cassidy women other than Helena. Lord have mercy. I forgot all about Alexis and her daughters. Yes, Molly, Sam are Cassidy's because of their mother, Alexis. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you know what it is, y'all? They make sure they don't claim that part of their family, don't they? The girls, they do not claim the Cassidy's. Yes, they have plenty of female Cassidy's. Thank you so much for that. Um, cause you know what, when you think of Christina, you think of Sonny, you know, and his clan, you really kind of forget about the mom side of the family when you think about the girls. Um, hey, LaShanta, La LaShanta says, Drew is Curtis's best man. I'm waiting on this non-wedding. I know. I put that video out after we found out, um, that Drew was going to be the best man. But I think once again, oh, uh, you know what? Maybe Curtis didn't want to ask Nina because she was going through so much with Brad and Willow and stuff. 
Yeah, but that would have been really cool. Like she would have been sugar sharp as his best person. Now that I wish I would have saw. I wish they would have let her be the best person. And Lashanta, <laughs> Lashanta says, why is everybody complaining about Joss? Chrissy was 10 times worse. She hated her dad and teamed up with Johnny Z. She sure did. She lied on Ethan like he beat her when he was when it was Kiefer. I don't care what anybody says. Alexis saw Kiefer and kept driving. She did. Yeah. Um, she says, trying to get Chrissy to the hospital because she was beat to a pulp. The way they did Drew when Jason came back. Yep. Yeah, that's why I don't understand. That's why I don't understand. Sam says she wanted a safe life. She went back to Jason to break up with him. Now she's with Dante. It's crazy. Nina's burning her own bridges. Sonny will finally open his eyes. Think about it. Sonny knows about Carly and Drew about the insider trading. Because remember, Nina told Sonny about Carly and Brick. So Carly told him. Why he didn't tell Nina it's not her business. He knows she's messy. That's true. That's a good point, Lashanta. Yes, Sonny does know about the insider trading. And he did not share that information with Nina. Um... But she's going to find out about it. She's lurking too much. She wants revenge. She's going to find out about it. And she's going to use it against. Um, <laughs> she's going to use it against. I'm laughing at Felicia comment. Here I come, Felicia Ledbetter. You next. She's going to use it against Carly 100%. Um, and she's probably going to take her down. I'm telling you, Nina is going to be on top for a second. But then it's not going to last. Felicia Ledbetter. Hello, Felicia. Thank you for commenting and welcome. She says, Carly and Drew's love scene wasn't lackluster to me because I know they're still getting used to being with each other. Okay, that's one way to look at it, everybody. Felicia says, maybe they just getting used to each other, which is true. You got to remember, Carly, most of her love scenes have been filmed for many years with one or two people, maybe three, off and on a few different ones. So, okay, I'll just give them that. And then Felicia says, I like Carly and Drew together. They haven't had. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I just got a reservation confirmation. She says, I like Carly and Drew together. They haven't had the opportunity to show what kind of couple they can be. Billy Miller isn't coming back. The problem is some people might not like Cameron Matheson as Drew, but I do. Let's give people a chance instead of complaining about the characters because Cameron has credentials, so it won't be easy to get rid of him. No, it's not going to be easy. I Listen, I think he's got a lifetime, just a lifetime abc contract like he does so much different things for that network so you right about that he ain't going nowhere but i think what it is is that like i said the the long-term time sam and billy miller fans they really want to see the original back uh i don't see any chemistry right now i'm not gonna lie felicia between drew and carly it just i don't i just didn't see it but we like you said we're gonna give them some time because they're veteran actors and or Felicia, how do you feel about Drew going back to Sam? Do you think I think maybe his character may work better with Sam than Carly and Carly being by herself? Put it in the comments. But you said you like them together. So you did. You said in your second part, you like Carly and Drew together. Well, we'll just have to see. But I, unfortunately, I don't think the writers are going to keep them together long. I think he him and Sam are going to mess around because he still loves Sam. I feel like. I feel like Carly was kind of like a set, a consolation prize, a rebound for him. Like, because remember, he tried to go back with Sam and she was like, well, no, I'm with Dante. And she wanted to see where that was going. I don't think he ever stopped loving Sam. I really don't. Um, hey, John Talks Everything podcast in the house. He, um, John says Billy Miller has said many times that he does not want to come back to General Hospital at all. I heard that, too. Yeah, they play him real bad. Miss Maxwell says, I would love for Willow and Michael to name the baby Lila. What other names would y'all like? Oh, yeah, let's name the baby. Put in the comments. Name the baby. Um, C. Green says, I like Adela and uh, like Sonny's mom. Oh, that would be cute. But you know, y'all, Michael acting so funny. Do you guys think that they would... Um how sweet would it be? And I know it's a long shot. And see this, and let me tell y'all, Nina fans, I don't hate Nina. I don't hate her. Not at all. But I'm just saying, how sweet would it be? Maybe they could think of something that had to do with Nina's family. Like, not her mom, because her and her mom didn't get along. Um, I don't know. Put it in the comments. Uh, 
we know they're not going to use anything to do with Nell's name. I just think it would be nice if maybe they could think of something to connect Nina name wise with the baby. I'm sorry. See, I don't hate Nina. (laughs) I don't. I actually want her to have a relationship with Willow. I just want her to stop being so freaking weird and crazy when she come around them. Um, seriously, what is back in the house? She says, wow, just wow when you speak on your dislike for Curtis. Oh, I'm not the only one, but I commented back. I said, I confess, he reminds me of someone y'all always catching me. Curtis, he do. He reminds me of somebody that I know is like, I swear they walk around with a soap box in their back pocket so they can stand on it at any time, you know. But yeah, I don't like the way the writers are writing in Curtis's character. I don't think I've ever really, let me see, when Curtis first came on the scene. Nope. I think I was more of a Sean fan than a Curtis fan. But honestly, yeah, the way they're writing him to like always attack Jordan and make it like he's so honest and upstanding. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, stop being a hypocrite. Um, Deborah D says, Josh should have been at Brit's tribute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought so, too. She didn't have to say why she was there. And I also feel like that I wish that she would tell Lisa. Like, I'm sure Lisa wouldn't say anything, but I just think that it would just bring her some kind of comfort to see the face of the person whose life her daughter pretty much died saving. But I agree. She says Josh should have uh, been at Brit's tribute. And if he cared, Dex too, yeah. Um, It was at the hospital. They were all, yeah, all the Spencer women were in the nursery loving on Michael and Willow's baby. That was wrong. She saved Josh from the hook. I agree. I agree. I feel like she should have told Lisa what her daughter did for her. She should have explained everything to Lisa. And she should have showed up at that funeral. I agree. Seriously, what is back and says she had to uh, unsubscribe to the channel because we are too hard on her, Nina. She has to find a channel that's fairer minded. (laughs) Okay, bye, girl. Um, Cindy says everybody's coordinating outfits and accessories for the wedding that may not come off. I know, but everybody going to be so sharp. (laughs) Um, I like the dress that Stella's supposed to wear, but I hope she can return it. I don't think you can return stuff like that. When you get stuff tailor made, ain't no, you can't turn that back, can you? Um, she says Stella's supposed to wear, but I hope she can return it. She's sitting on Portia's secret because her own secrets are getting to her. And Portia doesn't even know what she knows. But somehow someone's going to spill spill, and the wedding will be ruined. At least the reception food won't be wasted. They can let people take some home. I've been to a couple of weddings that didn't happen. And we always kept on going to the reception. The reception is never canceled. <laughs> Catherine Piper says, yes, it'll backfire and Michael will go to jail. Oh, no. You think Michael going to go to jail, too? Um, So taking her grandchildren's dad out of the mix, there will be no going back, especially as Wiley is growing up. He'll turn on Nina and he will and she will lose her mind. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Wiley really loves Nina. He really loves her. And. I think as he gets older, it's going to be a battle. If they don't start accepting Nina, it might be a battle with Wiley. Yep, Cindy is confirming. Cindy says Kelly Monaco was personally involved with Billy Miller on on the show. Yes. She says, I thought I had, I heard she didn't want to work with Steve Burden. And that's why they split up Jason and Sam on the show. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure if that's, I don't know why she would be mad at um, Steve Burden. Because he took his bag back. But, um... I'm not sure exactly why they broke the characters up, but yes, Billy Miller, they, he did not lead the show. You know, it didn't end well between him and the network. And he did say that he had no plans on returning. He's a very good actor, and it's too bad that they play him like that because I would like to see him back on General Hospital. But, um, and that's just how karma and the universe work, ain't it? Because in real life, we ended up losing Steve Burton because ABC ended up playing him. So I don't know, y'all. It seemed like we all Jason fans lost and Drew fans lost. Because now we don't have Jason and y'all got to, ex- <laughs> except for Felicia, she likes the new Drew. But a lot of people don't like the new Drew. So I don't know. I guess we just have to wait and see. Y'all know how it is with our characters on our stories. We complain, but we won't stop watching it, will we? Okay, so this is the last I'm going to say about it. I am a Carly fan. I like Carly a really lot. I've followed her since Loving. 
I follow her even when she was doing Herbal Essence commercials, when Herbal Essence shampoo first came on the scene because she had the most luxe hair in daytime TV. I don't watch any other soap opera other than General Hospital. I've never watched any other network um, other than ABC for the people that's new that don't know. I understand that Nina came from another soap opera, this particular Nina. She is not our original Nina to the show. I did get used to her. I understand from her previous show, she brought a lot of her fans with her. And that's cool. That's cute. But everybody is not going to like the same thing. And I think that's what make our channel fun. We get to discuss. I have some diehard Nina fans. Penny Weston will cut into me. So fast about something Snarly Carly did. And that's fine because we go back and forth and that's what makes it a discussion. That's what makes us family. We don't care. Please don't take anything personally that I say about Nina or Curtis's character because I don't write the show. This is really just a testament to the writers on the stories that they can write these characters in such a way to where they get real ordinary people like us riled up. And I enjoy it. I enjoy the conversation and the banter, but I don't take it seriously. And if I do happen to lose any subscribers because I don't like Nina or Curtis, sorry, I hope you can find another channel that suits your needs. But you're always welcome back to talk to us anytime. Everybody's always welcome back. But that's it. I'm still at work. I got to do some stuff. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hands. Hit the like on your way out, and I'll catch y'all in the comments. <laughs>